Big is beautiful. As a brand, we've always given customers that little bit more for their money. And the all-new Skoda Octavia hatch and estate are both longer and wider than their predecessors, measuring just under 4.7 meters in length and 1.8 meters wide. The longer wheelbase, which is just under 2.7 meters, really maximizes the car's interior space and gives the all-new Octavia a real on-road presence. If you really want to make a statement, you'll be able to order it on an impressive set of 19-inch alloy wheels. It's the most aerodynamic car in its class. From the trademark power dome in the center of the bonnet to the razor sharp tornado line which surrounds the car, the Octavia's sculpted bodywork is charged with emotion, taking Skoda's new aspirational design language to a whole new level. And before we get too carried away with the looks, the fourth generation model also offers full LED matrix headlights and fog lights, and full LED tail lights in the trademark C configuration with dynamic indicators for the first time ever on an Octavia. Just some of the fantastic features which make this car such an uncompromising proposition. Open up the boot and the benefits of that long wheelbase hit you straight away. The previous Octavia led its class in terms of boot space and the all-new version is even bigger still, with an impressive 600 litres in the hatch and a staggering 640 litres of boot space with the estate. So, your luggage gets plenty of room, and it gets a premium experience of its own, because the estate now comes with an automatic retractable boot cover, and both variants are offered with the power tailgate and virtual pedals as options. This latest version of the Octavia is a stunning car, the overall design brings the car bang up to date. But if you think it looks the business on the outside, wait until you see it on the inside. So, the car is impressive on the outside, but when you get inside the new Octavia, the advances Skoda has made really hit you, including many first-time additions. When you think back to the inside of the 1998 first-generation model and compare it with the sophistication you find all around you in here, the journey we've taken from practical to aspirational really hits home. As soon as you get behind the wheel, you're immediately in premium surroundings. Now, it's hard to convey on a video, but I guarantee that you'll remember the first time you sit in this car because the quality is simply unbelievable. The materials used, the soft touch plastics, this state-of-the-art multi-layered dash, the chrome detailing, the two-spoke wheel, and all of this space. Now, let's take a look at some of the tech. The new generation virtual cockpit, the new graphics on the multi-function display, this is a car people will want to drive, that's for sure. The 10-inch freestanding infotainment display is higher up, so it's in your field of vision as you sit in the driver's seat. The system, what we call MIB3, has been around for over a year, but in Octavia, there's a completely new user interface, more straightforward and intuitive than anything we've produced before. Now, my hands are like hams, so here's some really neat footage from Skoda HQ featuring their hand model to explain. There's a slider to adjust brightness and gesture control so you can navigate through the screens with the wave of a hand. Press and hold to update your favourites menu from the top of the screen and personalise your choices by dragging and dropping from the icons shown below. Easy. Press home and menu and you can configure the main layouts by dragging and dropping too. And check this out. There's a selection of cool backgrounds, from brushed beige to feathers to a blue sky to choose from. And you can set the focal point for your tunes like this and control the volume with that funky touch slider again. Perfect. The infotainment system is linked into a new button bar underneath the screen, so you can quickly and easily press a button, like mode, 
and immediately it displays on the screen. So you're straight to where you need to be at the push of a button, simple. Mode takes you to the selection of driving modes on offer. Let's select individual. Jump back out and you can get to the assistance systems, choose what you want and then press the button again to jump back out once more to the home screen. The infotainment system really looks the business. The big screen and the row of buttons means there's no more rummaging around by the gear shift to find what you need. It's all right there in your peripheral vision. It includes wireless Apple CarPlay and touch sliders to control audio volume and air conditioning, so you don't have to tap at the screen to make adjustments. You've got one touch control. Everything is easy to set up from the home screen. Slide and then press and hold. To personalize the home screen display, press the little pencil icon on the top right to edit. I know, this bit looks like something from the movie Tron, but it just shows how simple it is to configure up to 15 options to your infotainment home screen using this selection of widgets. As you can see, the tiles are set five by three, but if we look here, you can make certain widgets more prominent. To remove things, if you change your mind, just click on the trash icon to bin them off. Now, Let's take a look at the nav. Search is as ever it was, but there's also a new suggested option based on your most visited destinations. When setting a destination, points of interest that appear en route are highlighted, so if you're planning on stopping for a break or a bite to eat, then you can add this to the route plan. That handy slide bar comes into play again, so it's easy to zoom into the map. And for cars with virtual dash display, dual zooming means the dash display zooms in as well and the slider works for changing the nav volume too. It's all much more intuitive, and there's much less to do to get what you need. Everything is just one or two presses or swipes away. Take a look at the aircon controls, for example. The all-new Octavia includes a state-of-the-art air conditioning system. It's advanced, but like everything else, it's much easier to use. Smart air conditioning can be accessed through the main infotainment display screen, single touch selection, makes it easy to change the settings. With one touch, you can access all your Climatronic aircon settings, displaying multiple options all on one screen. You can defog the windows, warm your hands or feet, and get a breath of fresh air all from the same screen. The temperature and aircon settings are displayed at all times on the home screen, and you can adjust your heated seats from any screen. And just in case this isn't for you, the more traditional approach to aircon control is still here. Simply switch to classic AC and you can adjust your air conditioning using those familiar controls all on one screen. So that's a very quick look at the infotainment system. If you think it looks pretty good, and hopefully you do, you'll be blown away by this next bit. Over to you, Tracy. Thanks, Will. So the all new Octavia introduces a head up display system to the brand. So what does it do? The head-up display projects key information onto the windscreen so that it's directly within the driver's field of vision. There's no need for that quick glance down through the steering wheel thanks to this state-of-the-art feature, optional from SEL upwards. Activated from the infotainment system, just tap Menu, Vehicle, Interior and then Head-up display. You can toggle the display from the infotainment system and adjust brightness and colour, with blue available for snow driving. Not sure we'll be needing that one anytime soon. You can also quickly and easily pick which information you want it to show, from a choice of speed, navigation, detected traffic signs and activated driver assistance system information. So that's the head-up display for the first time in a Skoda. And while we're on the subject of options, take a look at this. The all-new Octavia features an ambient lighting system, which, like the head-up display, can be personalised through the infotainment system by selecting Menu and then Background Lighting. There are some preset options like Winter, Ocean and Race. And if none of those float your boat, you can press Individual and set any colour you like for both the door inserts and the footwells using these funky mood tiles. You can program one-touch mood settings and assign them to different driver profiles so that they're activated. I'm going to go for a cool winter vibe.
Right, let's talk powertrains. The new Octavia comes with four engines, two highly optimised petrol engines and two of the latest generation Skoda Evo diesel engines. The most powerful of each is also available with DSG transmission. The punchy 1.5 TSI you can see here generates 150 PS. It hits 62 miles per hour in just over eight seconds from a standing start. And this estate here tops out at 139 miles per hour. And its performance is matched by its economy. The active cylinder technology shuts down two of the four cylinders when the engine is under minimal load, helping the petrol option to combine WLTP figures of just under 50 MPG. Here's something worth pointing out. Skoda continue to add to their Simply Clever items, and all new Octavias have this, a neat washer reservoir cap that hides a funnel. OK, let's take a look at the diesel option. As you'd expect, it generates a bit more grunt. This 150 PS version is the most powerful diesel engine we're offering from launch. It goes from 0 to 62 miles per hour in 8.8 .8 seconds and has a maximum speed of 137 miles an hour with the DSG transmission. Right, we're at a disused earth strip, so... OK, let's go. Oh yeah! Oh yeah, let's go! This more powerful diesel is the only engine to be offered with DSG, which brings me on to yet another first for Octavia and for Skoda. Let's take a look inside. You'll see that the big, clunky, mechanical gear shift is gone. Octavia introduces shift by wire technology, an enhancement for DSG versions of the car. The brand new system means there's no need for traditional mechanical selector. It's replaced by a simple electronic switch. It's literally by wire. Octavia is also the very first Skoda to include mild hybrid or MHEV technology, which will be available on both the 1 litre TSI and the 1.5 TSI engines. We'll call this E-Tech in the UK. So what exactly is mild hybrid? When fitted with a seven speed DSG, the 1 litre TSI and the 1.5 TSI petrol engines also use a separate belt driven starter motor and a 48 volt lithium ion battery. These additional electric power units make it possible to recover energy during braking and store it in the battery, just as you would with a fully electric vehicle. In simple terms, it's all about coasting. The energy recovered and stored by the additional units means you can coast without using the engine for long periods while maintaining power to essential systems, like the car's power steering. This significantly reduces both fuel consumption and CO2 emissions. As well as mild hybrid technology, the new Octavia joins Superb as the brand's second plug-in hybrid or IV model. Available exclusively with the 1.4 TSI engine, Octavia IV can generate 150 PS. Paired with its 85 kilowatt electric motor, the car can generate a combined power output of 204 PS. Running on its electric motor alone, the car has a range of 37 miles on zero emissions based on the WLTP cycle. Comfort is important, and it's extremely important when it comes to the new Octavia. Driver and passengers alike can enjoy unprecedented levels of comfort and luxury thanks to even more brand new features introduced to Skoda for the first time with new Octavia. You comfy back there, boys? Yeah, well, you're cramping my style. Do one. Things like predictive cruise control. This new system uses road speed data from the sat-nav, adding info from the front camera to read road signs and road markings. It can automatically slow the car down for both changes in speed limit and bends in the road. The fourth generation Octavia gets the electromechanical parking brake, which replaces the manual handbrake, so there's even more space in the cabin. And of course, today's driver and passengers aren't comfortable unless they're connected. So there are no less than five USB sockets in yet another Skoda first including one housed in the rear view mirror so drivers can quickly and easily hook up a dash cam. 
And as you'd expect in every Skoda, we continue our simply clever features, like this one, a handy phone pocket for your rear passengers. The fourth generation model also sees the addition of three zone aircon to Octavia as part of the optional winter pack. Keyless entry and stop start is also incorporated so that it's possible to open all doors keylessly and easily. These improvements to driver comfort are taken a step further with the introduction of some all new driver assistance systems, which are every bit as advanced as you'd expect for the new Skoda Octavia. New Octavia offers the most sophisticated array of driver assistance systems ever seen in a Skoda vehicle. Turn assist, collision avoidance assist, online traffic information and exit warnings are all offered by the brand for the first time in the fourth generation Octavia. Let's take a look at a few of them. When turning right across the opposite carriageway, like when you're turning into a side road or entrance, turn assist uses radar to check the lane you're merging into. It's triggered when you indicate before changing lanes. We'll get this option on Octavia later this year. Collision avoidance assist also uses the car's radar system to calculate the best direction to take to drive around an obstacle in the road. The blind spot detect works just as we've seen on other Skoda models, like Scala and Superb, as well as across our SUV range. The way it works is the same, but Octavia introduces a brand new function called exit warning. Will's gonna help us bring this to life. We have all had a close shave when opening the car door, but with the exit warning system, the car scans for vehicles, cyclists, and pedestrians approaching from the rear when the car is stationary. The technology is similar to blind spot detection, but with a closer focus area. If a hazard, for example, a cyclist, is approaching, the exit warning is triggered, which gives you an audible and visual warning to remain stationary. Exit warning only works when the car is stationary and will trigger regardless of the selected gear. It will work for up to three minutes after the ignition is switched off. You can activate or deactivate the system through the infotainment menu. Rear traffic alert was introduced back on Superb in 2015 and like the exit warning, is another function that's been integrated into the blind spot detection system. When you reverse, the rear traffic alert sounds a warning signal and a graphic flashes up on the infotainment screen if another vehicle is detected. And if you don't respond, the car will brake automatically. Even if you're reversing quite quickly, the system has your back and will trigger at speeds of up to six miles per hour. That would the treat. Traffic Jam Assist lets the adaptive cruise control do the work in stop-start traffic, re-engaging the engine and holding your position behind the car in front. On cars with a DSG, the ACC uses a stop and go function, bringing the car to a standstill and having it pull away again automatically within up to three seconds. We also have Travel Assist. Strictly speaking, this isn't a new system. There's been one before, but the new version is massively enhanced. When enabled and reliant on the driver keeping their hands in contact with the steering wheel, Travel Assist works by using sign recognition, lane assist and predictive cruise control to allow the Octavia to travel while staying in lane, making changes based on speed limit signs and always keeping a safe distance from the vehicle in front. Both of these assistance systems build on the existing front assist system that we've seen before. The new Octavia is available with the option of emergency assist. It monitors driver behavior using hands-on detect to check that the driver is touching the steering wheel every 15 seconds. If the system detects erratic behavior, like drifting out of lane or minimal activity, and suspects the driver may be asleep or incapacitated, it will first jolt the seat belts, and if no response is forthcoming, nudge the steering. If there is still no reaction from the driver, the car will slow and brake to a halt in its lane, switch on the hazard lights, and using CareConnect, contact the emergency services. 